Alright, what's up gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Today we will be reviewing the Mountain Dew Orange Citrus Kickstart. So this is what the can looks like. Pretty solid orange color, white trim, and then a green accent right here on the front. So the flavor is called Energizing Orange Citrus. Here it says there's 80 calories per can, which isn't that much. Ingredients, carbonated water, high fructose, fructose corn syrup, white grape juice, again, just like last week, and concentrated orange juice, just like last week. So this might end up being very similar to the game fuel last week. Let's crack this open and have a first sip and tell you what I think. Yeah, this is not exactly the same as the game fuel. I would definitely Ha it's ha it has a similar flavor profile to a more regular energy drink, but it still definitely has the more natural flavor that like the Rockstar or the Game Fuel did. The flavor is like kind of, it's in a really sweet spot. Not like it's super sweet. I mean, it is sweet, but it's at that sweet spot where it's not too much, or, but it's not too little, but it might be just a little bit on the too little. This is the exclusive lounge. I've always felt most comfortable with nice, cold, logical decisions. Emotional decisions are for the weak. For each two things in the inbox, send zero to the outbox if they have the same sign, or send one to the outbox if they have a different sign. Inbox, and my instinct is to copy to zero, and then inbox the next one, and sub. I can't just subtract them because they're not necessarily the same value right? There's five and six, and then six and eight. It was at this point that Nathan decided to spend 40 minutes using addition and subtraction to try to determine whether the two input values had different signs. This is far too much time to put into a YouTube video that you're watching for a meme. Just imagine that you've watched Nathan spend 40 minutes telling himself that he's obviously not doing this the right way and then continuing to try to use subtraction and addition to determine the solution. We return to him when he finally decides to try something different. Okay, so this is stupid. What am I thinking? Because I can just pick it up, determine if it's positive or negative, then pick up the next one, and based on if the first one was positive or negative, and if this one is positive or negative. So that works. No, stop. I don't even want to see this. I don't need to do any of the subtraction stuff. Let me just clear everything out of here. Okay, so if it's negative, right? Okay. So inbox, copy to zero, inbox. If the second one is negative, then uh, copy from zero. If this one is negative, copy from z uh, four and outbox. Otherwise, copy from five and out box. If this is not negative, copy from zero. If this is negative, copy from five. If it's not negative, copy from four. So All right, that's a real answer. So I've got 14, two extra commands and several extra steps.
there's the steps done and I did reduce the speed in doing that as well which is nice to boost the speed I need to reduce how often I'm jumping probably okay let me think about this though cuz if I cuz each iteration through this loop will always have one two three four five six seven steps one two Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And then this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The case where you jump, if it's initially negative and it's then not negative, has more steps than the other two cases because of this no yes so how do we reduce that what if instead of this jump here we just put this up here and we can get rid of this jump and this can go up here oof one extra step what if I just put these bad boys just back down here I think that was it because I got the size even smaller no come on all right all right all right so inbox jump if negative down to here where you inbox again so up to this point they both have the same number of steps then you get one, two, or just one. So instead of a jump down to an outbox, and then a jump, what if I outbox and jump back to the top? There it is. Oh. Wow. That was a very long and surprisingly difficult challenge because I saw t two threes right at the start and <laughs> was like, oh, if I subtract them and they're zero, that means that they have the same sign. And I was just really dead set on trying to do it mathematically rather than just looking at the straight up values. Oh man, the optimization didn't actually take as long. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Uh, this might be my longest video ever. Alright, thank you all for watching this video. Um, I did end up finishing the monster, er, sorry, the Mo Mountain Dew Kickstart. I think this is a really good drink. I would definitely drink this again. Um, probably more so than the drink I had last week. I would give this a four stars too. It really didn't blow me away because it, it is very similar to some of the other drinks that we've had here on the channel, um, but I liked it a lot. All right, have a good night, you guys.